Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos, and today I want to talk about the proposal to change the proof-of-work algorithm of Bitcoin. The impetus to do this is the fact that only a few entities combined control the majority hashing rate in Bitcoin. This is called centralization of mining, and it's not a good thing in any cryptocurrency. The power of Bitcoin is that its security is decentralized, but when you start getting a concentration of power where only a few people can get together and control the network, it's always a problem. Some of the things they can do include reversing recent transactions transactions or stopping certain transactions they don't like from getting into the blockchain. They can even exclude all other miners from being able to mine blocks simply by ignoring them. When you have the majority, you basically control the entire network. So I can see the reason why some people would want to change the proof of work algorithm. It would basically make all of those miners equipment obsolete and say now a new kind of equipment is going to be necessary in order to mine Bitcoin. However, that's going to create a hard fork where you have the old miners and the old nodes running that old network and then all the nodes that have upgraded running on a new network with a new proof-of-work algorithm. That hard fork is definitely a contentious hard fork where some people would be in support, some people would be against. It would be similar to the Bitcoin Cash hard fork we saw back in August of 2017, which created two blockchains. You would see the same thing happen here. And so it's very unclear which of those two would be the true Bitcoin. In my opinion, it's very likely that the old Bitcoin would stay the true Bitcoin and the new proof-of-work algorithm would not be accepted by the community. So this is a very contentious issue. I'd be interested to see if you have any thoughts on it. Be sure to throw your comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.